Well, quick revisit on what the market is up to, still lying absolutely quiet in trade. But this week, ET Now launches a brand new show called Global Insights with Panita Kumar Sinha, where we attempt to discuss and analyze the key global trends and their impact in India. Today, we begin the series with an in-depth discussion on the state of the U.S. economy. The key question being is... Um, is the U.S. on the brink of recovery or another recession? And on the show today, Punita questions John Taylor, Professor Economics at Stanford University, and Kenneth Rogoff, Professor Economics at Harvard University, on what they make of the current situation in the U.S. and what it means for emerging economies such as India. The Taylor rule on interest rates is taught to every student learning economics. What is your view on interest rates in the U.S. and the impact that they are having on emerging economies? Do you still believe U.S. rates are too low as they have fueled asset price inflation in emerging economies? I think they could be slightly higher, but I wouldn't go there right away because the expectations that they'll stay low are so strong at this point. It needs to be done in a very gradual way. One of the most important things about monetary policy is not to, to shock the economy, not to cause unpredictability. So uh, they could come higher. Um, I think the main problem now is all these other things the Fed is doing, the quantitative easing. But down the road, the lower interest rates um, are a problem if they continue at this level. And with respect to emerging markets, I think it definitely has made monetary policy more difficult in emerging markets. Now there was a large commodity boom in the last few years. That's, that's uh, diminishing to some extent. You're seeing slowdowns in various emerging markets. In a way, that's the result of, uh, I think, too easy policy that was effectively encouraged by the very low interest rates in the U.S. and in Europe. If we had to apply your Taylor rules specifically to India, what would you say interest rates in India should be? Well, in, interest rates in India I think were too low for a while. I think they're, they're basically trying to make an adjustment now. The inflation rate has picked up and the central bank needs to worry about that. Uh, with respect to this precise level they are right now, I'll leave that up to the central bank. But I think more generally in emerging markets, again, what, has, what had happened with the very low rates in the last, say, two years, that caused rates to be too low in emerging markets, whether it's India, Brazil, Turkey, China, and now they're realizing that the inflation that was caused by that has to be dealt with. And it, I hope it's not painful, but I think that's one of the, the concerns I would have about India and the other emerging markets at this point. And Ken, if I may also ask you about India, what do you think of RBI's policy of targeting inflation at the expense of growth in the short term? Well, I wouldn't accuse the Central Bank of India of worrying too much about inflation. I think they've actually been very flexible and let it rise quite a bit in many circumstances. Uh, India's broader problem is reform fatigue that the in recent years, um, when a big reform has been proposed, uh, it's gotten pulled back. And I think that's going to challenge India's growth potential going forward, that it uh, India has managed to grow remarkably well in recent years with uh, still getting benefits from reforms that were made in the 1990s, really. But now there needs to be another generation if India is going to continue growing at 8 and 10 percent, which it should. It really should for a very long time. Before we wrap the show, let's uh, quickly go to Ashwini for his mid-morning trading ideas. Well, the market is pretty flat, so uh, you know that should be taken on board uh, while taking these uh, calls. Oracle Financial, after a sideways move post a large rally, this is a buy with a stop about 2900, target of 3050. Voltas is a buy with a stop about 108, target of about 120. And Raymond's is a buy with a store about 358, target of 380. Okay, Ashwini, good to have you on the show. As always, leave the market absolutely quiet. It's a good buy from Nikon to me.